Are you looking for the best stretches to alleviate lower back pain? If so, you're in the right place. Try these stretches from the comfort of your own home. To try out more workouts and receive my top tips, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. I can't wait for you to experience these stretches, so let's get to it. We're gonna start by lying down on our back and hugging the knees into the chest. So hug them in nice and tight, as tight as you can. And even in this position, you may find that it alleviates some of that dis discomfort in your lower back. Then we're gonna carry the knees over to one side. So keeping the legs together, very gently holding on with your tummy, you're gonna carry the legs over to the left. So keep both shoulder blades down into the floor and carry the legs over. You can use your left hand to pull the knees down and your right arm is palm down on the floor. And you can, if you want, then turn your head to look over that extended arm. And in this position, trying to relax, taking some nice deep breaths, and on the exhale, relaxing. And the lower the knees are, so the further away from the head, the lower down the spine you get this nice rotation. The higher the knees are towards the head, the further up the spine, the rotation. So for the lower back, we want to keep the, no, the knees quite low so that we can experience that rotation in the lower back. And just scanning the body while we're lying here, making sure that we're not gripping or holding anywhere in the body, that the breath is nice and steady and that we're really relaxing. And then using your core, you're gonna pull the knees back to the center and just center yourself. And then we're gonna carry them over to the other side. So carrying them over, Nice and gently, you don't want the shoulder blades to come off the floor. With control, down they go. And then you can adjust the position as they come down, using your right hand to hold the legs there. Left arm out to the side, palm down, and relax. So try not to hold the breath. You need to relax the rib cage, relax the spine, so that you can really experience the stretch in the lower back. Some deep breaths, and when you exhale, just making sure that you're not, again, gripping the body anywhere, gripping your toes, holding your breath. You try and relax into the stretch. And then using your tummy again, you're gonna pull your tummy in nice and tight to lift up the legs to the center. And this time, we're gonna straighten out the left leg along the mat. And we're gonna pull the right knee across the body. So again, shoulder blades stay on the floor and you pull the knee across. And this time, you might experience a stretch through the glutes, through your bottom. And this is a good stretch because it's rotating again the lower spine, but also by getting a stretch in the glutes, you're loosening off that area. And if, if you do get tight in the glutes, sometimes that can pull on the lower back. So it, it's a good idea to get the stretch in there as well. And again, using your breath to help the body to relax into this position. And then when you're ready, you can bring the knee back to the center and changing legs to so take the right leg long. And then you're gonna pull the left leg across the body using your right hand and the other arm out to the side, palm down. And nice deep breaths to try and relax. And remember the shoulder blades needs to stay on the mat. And then when you're ready, you can bring the knee back to the center. Let's hug both knees in again. And we're gonna take a little circle. So you're going to move the knees, so you come onto the sacrum, around, and then feel the weight coming through your waist, around to the other side, onto the sacrum. 
and round. So you're massaging the whole of this lower back area. And then you're gonna change direction through the sacrum, round through to the waist. And again, round and bring it center. Taking the feet down to the floor now, feet and knees hip width apart, arms relax. I'm gonna take my arms over my head so you can see what's happening with my pelvis. So in this position, you've got a neutral pelvis, so you will have a natural um, tunnel underneath your lower back. So what we're gonna do here is some nice small movements to the lower back. So we're gonna start by squeezing, pulling the tummy in and squeezing your bottom to flatten out your lower back on the floor. So you're tucking your pelvis and your lower back comes completely flat on the floor. You're then gonna reverse that. You're gonna tilt the pelvis and now you're gonna make a really big arch under the back. And again, tilt tucking the pelvis to get the lower back on the floor, squeeze your bottom and then reverse it, tilting the pelvis. So you're massaging the back, manipulating the spine in that lower area and tuck and then tilt again and then bring it to neutral. So if you spend a long time sitting, this is a really nice exercise to do to get onto the floor. We're gonna take this one stage further. We're now gonna tuck the pelvis again, bringing the lower back on the floor. You're gonna keep squeezing your bottom and you're gonna pick up one vertebrae at a time. So you're gonna lift coming up into a bridge. So you feel one vertebrae at a time lifting off the floor, so nice and steady. So you're really curling the back. Come all the way up onto your shoulders. And now we're gonna reverse it. So one vertebrae down at a time. So it comes through the shoulders, through the waist, down through onto the sacrum and neutral pelvis. And again, tuck the pelvis, pulling the tummy in, squeeze your bottom and make sure you don't miss out any vertebrae. It comes through the spine. Pick the pelvis up as you come all the way up onto the shoulders. And now take it back down through the shoulders, through the waist, onto the sacrum and neutral pelvis. One more time, tuck the pelvis so you flatten the back, squeeze the bottom, pick up and come through each vertebrae up to the shoulders back down through the shoulders, through the waist, take your time, flat back on the floor, neutral pelvis, and relax. Good, I hope those exercises really, really helped to alleviate any discomfort that you've got in your lower back. Comment below and let me know if those exercises have helped you. Now you've tried these stretches, why not go out ahead? Now you've tried these stretches, why not go ahead and try some of the other workouts on this channel? If you like this video, please go ahead and like it, share it with your friends, and be sure to subscribe to my channel.